All right, YouTube, I just want to show you guys uh, this robot car. The uh, robot itself, the chassis, is pretty cheap. You can get them off of eBay for like 25 to 30 bucks in most cases. Um, so it just comes with four, four motors, not a whole lot to it. Underneath this, see it? There's an Arduino Mega underneath there right here this thing is actually the motor control board it's uh some adafruit knockoff motor control board uh controls the four motors in individually um but underneath it is the arduino mega also we have a onboard gps Sitting right here. That GPS is the U Blocks 6M GPS. There we go. And up here on top, away from the motors and everything else, is the HMC. 5883L magnetometer. It's a compass that just uh, grabs a, the current heading. And then down here is a regulator. It reduces the voltage down from 5 volts to 3.3 uh, volts. The uh, Arduino Mega has the 3.3 um, volts out, and we could tie into that. Unfortunately, the uh, Adafruit motor controller um, is sitting right on top of it, so the only way to get to it would be to actually uh, um, tie uh, salt or something other on to this, uh, this jumper here with the 3.3 volts. And anyway, I opted not to do that and just went with something other to reduce it down in, instead that way. Um, <clears throat> on the other side, there's uh, just a... A uh, little LED light with a resistor sitting right there uh, just to restrict the uh, voltage to it. Um, and let's see, what else do we have? Just a battery pack, 7.2 volts uh, to, to power it all. The um, LED here, uh, it's just designed to give me some, some feedback, letting me know that whatever commands that I, I sent to the uh, the car, uh, that it's been received and it knows what uh, what just what just occurred. Um, the uh, program that I wrote, um, I wrote it in MIT uh, App Inventor. Um, pretty pretty straightforward um, app. Not a lot not a lot to it or anything. Um, it basically just sends a, uh, for each one of these buttons that I press, it just sends one character over, uh, via the, the Bluetooth module. Um, I don't even think I pointed that out. The, uh, Bluetooth module here is, uh, an HC, um, zero six, uh, Bluetooth module. Let's see if I can get a close up on that. Focus. Um, anyway, it, it, uh, also, it works at, uh, 3.3 volts and 5 volts. I've, um, um, if you get this particular one, um, I haven't had any, uh, issues with it. There's some people that say that they, uh, have issues with this, um, Bluetooth module that it needs to be, you know, run at 3.3 volts. I'm, right now I'm running it at 3.3 volts, but also in the past I have run it at 5 volts and haven't seen any, any problems whatsoever with it. Um, so... Anyway, see if it has a version 1.4, you should be okay. The um, anyway, back to the uh, to the app. It uh, it just basically sends a character over via the Bluetooth um, to to the uh, module, and then of course in the program that I uploaded to the uh, Arduino Mega, it uh, performs whatever tasks that I assigned to that to that value um let's see if we can plug this thing in 
Um, and anyway, I can, we can connect up here. Let's press the connect button and select our particular Bluetooth module. Bluetooth connected. And it just confirms that it's connected. There's a notification window here letting you know what's going on. And um, you can uh, get the current GPS location. Um, you can set the compass to the heading that it's set on right now. Um, go forward, left, right, reverse, and stop. You can turn the car um, left or right. Anyway, um, you can also turn the uh, vehicle left 90 degrees, right 90 degrees. Um, you can uh, do the uh, compass drive, which basically once you set the, uh, the compass um, to a certain heading, it'll hold that heading and keep going in a forward uh, direction. Uh, you can press the uh, turnaround button, and what that does in this case, what it does is it, is it turns the car 90 degrees to the right, travels for about a few feet and then it uh, turns right again uh, almost like in a mower like fashion so like if you're if you're mowing the grass um, you would turn and then turn you make the uh, uh, the next pass um, it uh, here in the uh, uh, notification window you got the uh, uh, tells you the number of uh, satellites it uh, that you've uh, got and um, see what else we got here. You've got the uh, uh, set home position. So what that does is it uh, sets the uh, um, current location of the robot uh, to that particular G GPS uh, coordinate. And then you can um, um, say if you move away from that position and you press the go home button, then it will automatically return to that position. So anyway, the uh, Bluetooth module, uh, you'll notice it, it's blinking right now. What that means is that it is not connected. Bluetooth disconnected. But uh, whenever uh, you connect up to it, Bluetooth connected. It will go solid and let you know that it is connected. So if you ever look down and see a blinking light, good, uh, good indication that you're no longer connected via the Bluetooth module. The uh, LED light here, um, whenever you uh, press some of the commands, not everything, but when you press some of the commands, uh, it will light up, letting you know that it received that, that, uh, that command. The uh, U-Box uh, GPS unit, you'll see the little green light there. Um, that's just uh, letting you know that it has locked on to the, the, the satellites, and so it is receiving a, a signal. you also see this uh, power junction here. I got a lot of uh, red and green uh, wires going to it. That's just the uh, uh, place where I uh, junctioned all these um, uh, 3.3 volt connections together here with the with the ground. So basically everything splits off from this this one section and um, Everything right now is running off of 3.3 volts um, the uh, Bluetooth module um, the um, the uh, HMC uh, Compass up here and the uh, GPS are all running off of 3.3 volts right now and all that is uh, the voltage itself is coming out of the uh, uh, Arduino Mega board, and then it goes um, to this reducer here um, that um, reduces the voltage down from the 5 volts back down to 3.3 volts. As far as these uh, magnetometers, the HMC5883L uh, sensors uh, compass goes, um, I... Um, not having very good luck with these things. Uh, I've ordered probably a, at least a half a dozen of these things, and out of the half a dozen, um, they have varying degrees of uh, quality. Um, I've only out of the probably six or so that I've gotten, one actually works, and it's right on the money. Um, the rest of them are way off. So you have a, 
um, north being you know right at zero degrees and you turn it uh, directly to the south that should be 180 degrees it might actually be 20 30 40 degrees off um, so there's a huge um, another thing I would say about these uh, um, compasses the HMC583 uh, compass is uh, you gotta be real careful about putting these things around any, any sort of metal at all. Uh, the uh, the motors um, will, will cause them to get way off, uh, so you don't want them to be located anywhere near the uh, the motor. Uh, that's why I got this one. It's way up on this uh, on this long uh, um, pole here. You can see it's it's even uh, got zip ties uh, holding it uh, in place. I tried. Uh, Putting a, a screw in there, and uh, even the the screws wouldn't work. Even the, the tiniest of little uh, screw would uh, cause it to get get way off. So uh, that's why I use the, uh, the the zip ties there. So if you're building one of these, uh, just be sure to keep keep that in mind. You want it to weigh be uh, uh, as far up as you can possibly get it, and um, also uh, uh, don't use any kind of uh, ferrous material to uh, to attach it with or else it's gonna cause the uh, cause the compass to be way off